You're watching Ben Carson This Week with Mariana Mancuso. Just when you thought Ben Carson's campaign couldn't get any more unconventional, the Carson campaign steps up and delivers. Ben Carson has spent the last couple of weeks on a book tour and is now ready to vie for a Grammy. This week, the Carson campaign announced they'd be running a 60-second rap ad targeting young black voters in eight markets. The ad featured rap artist Inspiring Mogul and Carson's stump speech is interspersed with Inspiring Mogul's beats throughout the ad. It's not all fun and games on the trail with Carson, though. While in Miami, Carson fumbled his way through an interview with the Miami Herald about U.S. Cuban policies. He admitted, I don't know a great deal about that and I don't really like to comment until I've had a chance to study the issue from both sides. With immigration being a hot button topic in 2016, Dr. Carson may want to hit the books and study up on this issue, stat. Carson's wide appeal for voters is a story of his spiritual redemption from an angry young man who committed acts of violence to a calm, even-tempered man running for president. At least that is what Carson's narrative is. But in recent interviews with CNN, they investigated Carson's claims of committing acts of violence by cross-referencing with a few of his ex-classmates, and no one can seem to recall Ben Carson as a wayward youth who suffered from a pathological temper. That's what Ben Carson was up to this week. For more analysis and commentary about all of the candidates, join me on politicalhype.com. I'm Marianna Mancuso. For more political news, check out newsstation.com on the App Store, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.